Hey, today's video is on my pool. I've come back from a trip. My pool looks like this. Yeah. So, my dilemma. We're under water rationing. So, vacuum to waste is be bad for my water bill. Um, and then if I hit it through my sand filter, it eventually bleeds through and the water goes cloudy and then you get stuff back again. And then you still have to backwash, which is wasting water. So I bought this thing. Well, I built it. In a previous video, you'll see it, but anyway. Okay, so I went out and bought some things. I've got the Hayward filter came in a box like that pump came in a box like that some metal bought a $20 hand truck extension cord lead um, 14 gauge it'll do up to 15 amps uh, got various pipe fittings electrical box switch came with a switch but I'm doing a load so I want a heavier duty switch Got some unions, not sure which um, check valve to use, and I got a three way so I can pump to waste or pump through the filter. So I'm gonna unbox the pump and show that and kind of try and figure out how to mount it. So uh, back in a bit. Okay, so the pump and filter is unboxed. Uh, plastic base, yeah. Uh, not sure how that is okay so I've got a fitting here it comes up to my pipe uh, so I, I can put inch and a half pipe on that the input is a, another female and it has a seal on here seal that up this thing is mounted with two bolts or a bolt here and a bolt there inch and a half fitting so I got these male things to fit in here uh, so uh, plan on mounting it uh, I don't like the two plastic or the plastic baits with just the two holes uh, we'll see how that works out and, uh, and then I've got to put some brackets for wire and I want to do the coil for the pool hose so uh, back in a bit A video update so got the motor sitting on the dolly <clears throat> to a three-way valve so I can discharge to waste filter this Haywood we'll be sat right there so I've cut up steel and and a base and I'm gonna start welding that up okay well it's the uh, end of the day Still haven't finished, but I got a lot done. Uh, got the pipes connected. This is all inch and a half to the three-way valve waste to the filter exit. I've got the electric on. I've got a 50-foot extension lead and my check valve. Uh, I found that if I file the inside of this out, the pool hose will slide in there with the vacuum to hold in place. So. I'm about ready to check this out um, and I'll do a video on that wow it was a lot of work uh, doing the welding of the shelf uh, got it there there and I had to make a base down there welded that support so I can sit on that put a bracket back here for the switch so it's almost ready to try out but another day. Anyway, um, on with the project.
Okay, so I drop down the outlet. I just keep it up with the bungee cord. It's the easiest way. So now I'm priming the uh, pump. Uh, it takes about a gallon of water. Make sure you keep that um, o-ring lubricated if you take it on and off a lot. Uh, now I'm priming the hose. Uh, you keep one end under water and just keep feeding the loop down. Um, plug it in, turn it on, and it's a failure. Uh, go down the rabbit hole thinking it's the spring on the check valve, where really I've just got a vacuum leak. And I fix it later. Okay, so the pump would not open up this valve in the check box. The spring, I tested on a scale and pushing down, it took three pounds. And so I think that's too much. So I modified the spring. I just pushed it down in there, did the most thing. So now it's got maybe half a pound of that. And um, we'll give it a go. Okay, so now I uh, try it again and it still doesn't work. And by then I figured out it's a vacuum leak. So I grabbed some duct tape, uh, sorry dentist, and uh, then it works. So, I like it. I did this part of the pool. You can see there's dirt there and you can see the line where I cleaned this little triangle. Uh, it felt actually a little bit more, it felt like a little bit more power than the pool pump. So, it's good. Uh, the water here when I do it from the pool pump will go cloudy and You know what? It's hard to tell but I do think there's a little bit of cloud Ah oh, well, we'll see what happens. It settles like two days later and I get more dirt so I'm gonna finish up the pool and We'll take a look when I'm finished back in a bit Okay, well I finished vacuuming the pool it is really cloudy uh, but it's not that bad and then I cleaned up this and I drained water from it um, but the filter it's got kind of dirty I'm gonna rinse that off and see how it cleans this bucket head some stuff there was some stuff that fell out of the hole when it relieved the pressure but this is kind of cool the inlet water comes in there it's fill up through here and then it filters through and down that hole and out this one so uh, time will tell tomorrow how much settles and then I can see how much is getting through and I may be able to do it again pick it up so it maybe if I do it regularly it won't matter but if I let it go for a while, because I let that go for about a month. Um, and again, it's windy, so it's going to deposit more sand. Anyway, I'm going to clean this up. Okay, so third time using this pump. Uh, really easy to prime, start up. Uh, the pool, I had gone two weeks without vacuuming it and had a thick layer over the top. So when I vacuumed it, the water got cloudy, but afterwards I let it sit over here. So it's just drawing the water and it's drawing the cloudiness across. I can see it moving. And it um, it's actually taking the cloudiness out of the water. So I'm gonna let that run for five, 10 minutes. Um, it's worked good. I hope uh, this video helps you and making your own. 
it was really easy about six hundred and fifty dollars and just a day kind of doing stuff i did have a welder i made this frame across here put that set it on and i made a base down the bottom um but other than that it's everyone should have that stuff and uh, if you don't have a welder you can probably bolt stuff onto it anyway hope you enjoyed the video bye